the guidance that we are wanting to point you toward is not going to say do get married or don't get married the guidance that we want you to listen for is in response to the thoughts that you are thinking more than it is the action that you are taking in other words if you look at this person that you are considering marrying or not marrying and you say things such as you are inappropriate in such and such a way your guidance is telling you this thought is not good for you and you say well whether the thoughts good for me or not should I marry this person and we say we want you to ask different questions rather than what should I do we want you to follow the thought of your source and the thought of that source within you is looking for things to appreciate we know that guidance always sounds like should I go this way or should I go this way when you understand that the guidance is about the direction of your thought and you deliberately choose the better feeling thought the better feeling thought the better feeling thought that what begins to happen is that you get going with the flow so well that questions about what to do answer themselves easily because it is so very obvious what to do in other words when you get out of the maelstrom and you begin going with the flow the flow carries you in such a way that you would say to us something more like Abraham I really don't give a rip what you think this is what I'm gonna do the confusion goes away when the resistance goes away and so did you get that it's really an important thing when you say well never mind what I'm gonna do how am I gonna think about this and you choose a better feeling thought and you do it consistently about any subject especially this subject as you do that more and more consistently what happens is the stream is flowing so smoothly and you are so well placed within it that all of the chaos and confusion from your life lifts from you and you have clarity about what to do give us an example of some of the thoughts that go through your mind relative to this relationship okay I would like to buy a house and financially he's not in that position so I don't feel he's my financial equal so I get caught up in thinking that maybe that I'm settling I'm not proud of these thoughts but this is what I think I should have a partner that I can have a dream with which would be uh, to buy a home which I really would like all right so let's dissect this a little bit so you're saying through my life experience I've lived in a lot of places and having done so I've given birth through a series of rockets of desires to a dream life and a dream house and as I hold that vision and I look at you you don't match and so you may not be the one and I'm not proud of this you say and we want to say to you that anytime you say things like I'm not proud of me I know I shouldn't be thinking these thoughts you're also not a match to the way source feels about you who always loves you no matter what thoughts might be crossing your mind in other words there's all kinds of levels of discord in a situation like this so let's sort it out so potential husband of mine I see you as financially irresponsible and I see myself as financially responsible so you need to change so that I can see you the way I need to see you so that I can feel better and we say oh this is just the beginning of your trouble <laughs> because when you see anything that needs to be different so that you can feel different and then you compound that still further by saying not only do I see you as you are I didn't make it up I see you as you are and you're not financially a match to what I want but you may very well keep me from my dream mm -hmm. so you really need to be different because I'm not about to let you as much as I love you on some fronts I'm not about to let you keep me from my dream and we say never mind him you're keeping yourself from your dream because you've got a dream and you are contradicting it so you say well but wait I'm not contradicting it I'm pointing out that he's contradicting it and we say but you're the one doing it but wait 
if he were different, I wouldn't do it. And we say, you don't have to do it whether he's different or not. In other words, just don't contradict your own dream. So Abraham, are you saying that I've got this dream house over here in vibrational escrow? And if I don't, if I just don't look at him and say, you're keeping me from it, that I'll turn and go in the direction of it, no matter how he is financially, we say, yes. Your dream is not contingent upon him. Your dream is contingent upon your alignment with your dream. Mm -hmm. And when you use his current financial status as a reason to give yourself worry and contradict your own dream about your own house, well, you're contradicting your own dream. You're not keeping up with the house that you have created, but it's not his fault. It's yours. Yeah, I, I hear you. Now, here's the most important question relative to this specific issue that we want to put to you just relax it will be clarifying do you believe that with or without this person you have the ability to reach your dreams and goals now the reason we ask this is because if you believe that with or without anyone that life caused you to put it there and that you have the ability to turn and flow to it. So your success is not contingent upon what anybody else does. That's a very powerful thing to know. But if you believe that you don't have the ability to get it by yourself and you're looking for somebody else to fill in those missing pieces. This is interesting, isn't it? And then you say, Oh yeah, I need somebody that does this, this, and this, and you don't do those things. So you may not be the right one. Are you getting what we're getting at? When you are so self-empowered that you know, Hey, I'm source energy in a physical body. Life caused me to put all kinds of things in vibrational escrow. The stream is carrying me to those things. I cannot not succeed. In other words, it's not possible for me to not get what I want. I must get what I want. It's set up for my success. And now I know that. So now you and your financial situation, you're a non-issue. So you want to say to your lover, face it, I'm going to be wealthy. I'm going to live in beautiful places. This is what I've got lined up. So if you're all right with that, come on. But that's not what you're saying. What you're saying is I have dreams that I can't achieve without your support and your hard work and effort. And since I see your hard work missing, then you're probably not the one. And we say under those conditions, we would agree. But when that's your criteria, when you're saying to your future mates, I've got dreams and I need you to do certain things in order to help me accomplish my dreams. We just want to say it bluntly and boldly. Those dreams have got to be pretty minuscule, paltry, and puny because that's all action can yield you. But if you've got big dreams and you've got alignment, then you could made up with someone who had zero ambition and your dreams would all come true anyway, because your dreams aren't contingent on what anybody else does only what you do with your vibration. How about that? Wow. So you wanna, you wanna say to everybody who's in your life, I'm a happy person, deal with it. I'm a successful person, deal with it. What I want always comes to be. I don't stand in my own way anymore and you never could, so everything's good with me and then you start making your love decisions on the things that really matter like are you easy to love do I love you do you make my heart sing do you match the criteria that I've launched into vibrational escrow about that are you kind are you clear-minded do you have a zest for life do you smile easily do you laugh easily do you want to love does loving come easily to you and we got to tell you Every person on the planet is that person if they're not bucking the current and going upstream. So when you stop bucking the current and begin going downstream, then through the clarity of your example, you can teach anyone to go with the flow. So we think that maybe what you're grappling with here more than anything is, does this person feel like someone who's likely to start going with the flow anytime soon? Or does this person feel like someone who's going to be really resistant to that? 
and we say time will tell you don't have to make this decision today just play with it you go with the flow and you know what we've noticed the more you go with the flow the faster your stream flows the more you flow with it the more those who are going with you have to stay up with you going with your flow so there's really not anything for you to worry about you don't have to worry about breaking up because if you're going with the flow and the other one isn't there's distance going between you in other words isn't that nice to know I don't have to issue a warning you're not going with the flow I'm 27 miles downstream I don't know how much longer we can maintain this relationship I can hardly see you anymore <laughs> law of attraction takes care of it you see but most of you don't play it that way most of you go with the flow and then you look back and you say wait a minute you're not going with the flow and then you know what you're not either so now because you're not going with the flow I'm not going with the flow and I'm pretty irritated about that I've got to tell you you're keeping me from going with the flow you're holding me back from everything that I have become and we say no he isn't just go with the flow and when you get going with the flow we promise you you'll bump into others who are going with the flow and you won't have this issue but what about him <laughs> and who knows when you get going with the flow he might too if he were sitting here he might tell us I'd go with the flow if it weren't for her <laughs> You might <laughs> we think we think we'd be having the identical conversation with him that's why our work is easy we only have one answer and we tell it to everyone <laughs> but to answer your question do I think I could make it on my own I think I could make a mistake and and, and mess it up honestly but we think you could make a mistake we think you could make a million mistakes mm -hmm. we think you already have if you're alive mm -hmm. in other words that's what the contrast is about but in everything that you do that makes you go oh I shouldn't have done that you launch greater clarity about what you want and the larger part of you becomes clearer so we always say you can't get it wrong so there can't really be a mistake you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done so as far as we would go along with human idea of mistake is you can hold yourself temporarily out of the flow but in the moment you stop doing that you go with the flow so no harm done no harm done because the flow doesn't say we've been flowing and flowing and flowing and you haven't been going and now frankly we're tired of you <laughs> so we're going to flow around you the flow just flows and never stops flowing and never stops flowing in the direction of what you want and you put your boat in any place but the thing that is important you put your boat in where you are you put your boat in where you are and that's enough we want to say this in a way that you'll really hear it it's enough that you're putting your boat in right where you are and you know why it's enough because you don't have a choice it's got to be enough because you can't put your boat in anywhere than other where you are can you you can't you are where you are so right now you don't have as much money as you want and you've got dreams about a house but you're not able to manifest them and you've got a partner who's so lovely on so many fronts and not so good on some fronts but you are where you are you are where you are you are where you are so you're putting your boat in you have no choice so not only is it enough it's got to be enough because it's all you can do but you do have a choice about whether you complain or expect good things you do have a choice about whether you worry about the future or look forward toward the future you do have a choice about whether you beat up on yourself or praise yourself or beat up on your partner or praise your partner and there's that's the choice you've got upstream or downstream that's the only choice you've got and when you consistently begin to make more and more downstream choices that means life gets funner life gets fuller life gets better you feel better oh you see these guys in these canoes with the oars and they're in those raging rivers and they're just going with the flow it's not beating them up in other words it's like they can't find a river that's too fast for them and you're that way too you cannot find a stream that's too fast for you when you learn to let go of resistance and just let the stream carry you ah oh, what a ride that is that's what you came for you came for that ride